Hello listeners, this is Sukhan uh, and Ravi. Uh, we are here uh, on the podcast of Academia Industry Collaboration. Um, in this episode, the second episode, we are going to discuss an interesting issue of whether PhDs should take up uh, setting up companies. I have been, I mean like thinking from standard perspective, most PhDs would either end up becoming lecturers or professors or become a scientist in a research setup. Ravi, why do you think a PhD should take a risk of setting their own company, venturing out into startup space? See, Sukhan, first of all, there is a big misconception in the current uh, public perception. Everybody who has finished a PhD, who's, who's got a degree under his belt, thinks I have to become that professor or I have to lead that big lab. But in reality, everyone's talents are different. They come okay. into a PhD program from different spaces. Mm-hmm. The, the, the innate talent of a person may be in technology, yeah. in applications of technology, and you have learned something and you have done something very nice during your PhD. And of course, the quality of PhD also matters a lot. Yeah. Some people are so into getting new knowledge out and stuff like that, that they naturally become professors. Yeah. And there is also this uh, common misconception that becoming a professor is the ultimate goal yeah. after finishing your PhD. I think it is totally wrong. Yeah. We need uh, application of this knowledge in all directions. Yeah. You look at our population mm-hmm. and you, you look at the job uh, opportunities which are actually available mm-hmm. and you will see there is a tremendous difference in the growth curve. Yeah. The population curve is speeding up like crazy. Yeah. And the uh, job growth curve, especially yeah. in academia, is actually, sometimes I think it is falling down also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or it's definitely just saturated. Yeah. Even with new institutions across the world. Yeah. And every every com- country now is uh, following their own restrictive policies, trying to push their own populace. Why should India be behind? Yeah. Right. We need to push our own people. And that can be done only by giving them opportunities to uh, be an entrepreneur. Yeah and uh, take risks. Uh, as a scientist, as a budding scientist, when you have completed your PhD, mm-hmm. you come out with stars in your eyes. Yeah. You, the, the future is uh, all yours. Yeah. And you want to achieve so many things. Mm-hmm. But now there are these lacunae. Mm-hmm. One, you may not have the risk-taking ability because yeah. your pockets are very shallow, mm-hmm. especially at a very young age. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and doing a PhD itself takes a lot of time. Yeah. Often you get your degree at the age of 30 or 32 yeah. or 27 to 32, depending on the field yeah. right? and also depending on your earlier qualification. So at that time, the most important thing people look for is a job or yeah. some sort of economic security. Yeah. And the dream to be an entrepreneur somewhere gets buried. Yeah, absolutely. But then we are losing out on so many potential Ambani's. Yeah. We are losing out on so many potential, say, Rajiv Modi's. Yeah. Who lead a cattle cattle lab, yeah, and who can just start and go ahead and be, I'm talking from the point of view of uh, healthcare and uh, finding new medicines too, not yeah. only in other areas, and uh, we if we give them opportunities mm-hmm. to come up ahead and mm-hmm. uh, go ahead, I think it'll transform the country to a large large extent. How can this be done? Yeah, that's the big question, right? How would you do it? Because people want to take risks, some of them. Yeah, so. The government across the country, across the world, not only in India, mm-hmm. have started what are called incubation centers. Mm-hmm. There are positive policies which have come mm-hmm. to mitigate the risk involved in starting new uh, entrepreneurships. Yeah. So I think this is a great point on incubation centers and how they can transform. Mm-hmm. But I think we should dedicate a whole episode on it. Yeah, sure. I so agree. let's do it the next episode on incubation centers itself. Yeah. Sure, sure. So thanks listeners, here's uh, Ravi and Sukant. Uh, We are talking here on a podcast of Academia Industry Collaboration. We hope you listen to our episodes and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.